do you have any information about cancer vaccines made from tissue removed during a breast cancer operation to prevent recurrence of breast cancer? The reason I'm giving you this question is the following. Dr. Jose Basalga from Barcelona, now here, used it. It's also been made in Spain, Tel Aviv, and Monterey, Mexico. The University of Pennsylvania has used the vaccine, the uh, questioner believes. So what part of this story uh, can you uh, shed some light on for us? Well, I think the idea of, I mean, first of all, hello, everybody. So the, the idea of using vaccines uh, uh, is very appealing, right? I mean, this is using uh, the own cancer cells and make the immune system uh, get to recognize them as bad and attack them. And you know, vaccines have been very successful to fight uh, infection disease and, and, and have cured many diseases. So the idea is a very appealing one. And it's appealing also in cancer. Now, I don't think we are there yet. So people are investigating in vaccines, but the immune system is much more complex. I am myself not an immunologist. I think there are many things that are happening today in, in the field of immunology that will lead, no question in my mind, to immune therapies against breast cancer. And I'm more than using tissue, I am very excited about uh, T cell modulation. I am very, uh, this is on my field, I'm just following it, but I think it's exciting. I am very excited about um, these um, uh, PD-1, uh, anti-PD-1 uh, therapies. Uh, some of them have been shown to work in melanoma. Some of them are beginning to work in breast cancer. So I think in the next 10 years, we're gonna see a lot of immune therapies coming coming along. Now today, is this something that is ready to use prime time? Uh, I think the answer is no. Right. Is this something that I would encourage patients to participate in clinical trials? Absolutely, if they fulfill the criteria that we are setting forward. Thanks, well this is an opportunity to go right to the horse's mouth and I didn't plan it. I have the written note here asking for Jose's opinion, so thank you. All right, so I think we have but, two but last but questions, no, sorry. On the next oh, slide. Oh. Oh. Sorry? I want to talk Heather's study. Oh, well, I mean, I thought Jose sort of touched on this. The, the issue of, of um, modulating the immune system is really the key to all of this. And, you know, one of the things that uh, we're now doing is to actually um, destroy the breast cancer when it's still in the breast, not remove it, just destroy it locally, and it spills its targets, which were, are called antigens. That normally would trigger an immune response, and that's related to, to this question in a way. Uh, but with the availability of a new antibody that actually turns off the breaks that are normally present on the immune system. In other words, it releases the immune system so it can over-rev. Uh, we're able to, we hope, allow for, uh, for essentially self-stimulation of the immune system uh, against the cancer. It's a version uh, of the question. Uh, this is already known to be effective in, in animal models, and we're currently translating that. In, uh, in a preoperative study at, uh, at Memorial. So uh, this is just beginning.